Hello, I'm Patty Simpson with Simpson Math. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join and use our Discord server. So first thing you'll need to do is download the Discord app onto your phone, tablet, or computer. The app works on all three platforms. I'm showing it from a computer, a desktop, so your platform may look a little different, but this will give you the general idea. Once you have logged in to the Discord server, your screen should look something like this. You'll want to add a server and join the server with the invite code that we've given you. So we gave you an invite code, you just join using it. When you join the server, you'll be welcomed on the welcome page. So your Discord server should look something like this in the beginning, where I have a welcome and introductions, and I'm going to introduce myself here in just a second with my first name and last initial, which teacher is my instructor. Remember, there are three Simpsons that teach at Temple College, as well as Mr. Leach um, that are using this server, the course I'm taking, and the day and time of my scheduled class. So I'm going to go to introductions and do that now. There's also a general chat. Within this general chat, I can chat with um, any of the users that are on this Discord server. I can post um, questions if I want or memes. So the general chat is exactly for that. And then in general voice, I can actually talk with anybody who's part of this server. So right now, Mr. Simpson, the Jimson of the group is in general voice. So I can join that general voice and chat with him if I'd like. First though, let me go to introductions and let them know I'm here. So I'm just going to type my first name and my last initial. I'm gonna type the class that I'm in. So I'm taking statistics. I'm gonna type the name of my uh, instructor. In my case, I'm in Pimpson's class, but maybe you're taking Mr. Randall Simpson, which you'd be Rimson, or John Simpson would be Jimson or Mr. Leach, you can put Mr. Leach. Leach. Then uh, the time and um, day of my class, well, this is an online class, so I'm just gonna put online. Notice that when, once I've introduced myself, I now have new things that I can see. I can now see my statistics content. If I click there, this is going to be a place where the instructors leave you information about the class maybe about the assignments or videos for you to watch. So the content is not a place where you will type, but it's a place where the instructors will leave you information about the class. Then here, uh, there's a discussion. I can post questions for my classmates that my classmates can see or for, for my instructor. So I can even upload pictures of um, of my work. If I take a picture of my work, I can upload it using this plus sign. I can upload different things or I could um, upload documents there. So this is more uh, course related, specific course related. And then if I want to join in Pimpson's voice and video, notice that Mr. Leach right now is in Pimpson's voice. Again, this would be more course specific. If I want to get in here and talk with my classmates about what we're doing, the homework, or if I have questions over things, I want to talk with a professor or with um, other classmates. This is more specific to our class. So then notice here that I have um, received a DM. So along this side, this is the server, Simpson Math, but now I've received a direct message from Mr. Leach. I'm going to click on that direct message from Mr. Leach, and he said, welcome to Simpson Math Discord server. But now I need to get back to the Discord server. I just come back over to where it says Simpson Math and click again on that, and it'll take me back there. If Let's troubleshoot a th few things that you may have trouble with as you come in. We want to be able to chat with you verbally as well as using text message. So if we come down here to the bottom, there that microphone would mute me. The um, headphones deafen, so I'm not hearing everything that's going on. And then the cog here 
If I will click on that, it'll take me to the different user settings. If I'm having trouble with my video or voice, I can right here on the voice and video, this is the most common problem that we have. If I'll click here, the input device is how the computer is hearing my material. So right now mine's showing it through the gaming headset. If I wanted to change that, you know, I have a, a microphone in my webcam. I also have just the default on the computer. So you can try, if you're having trouble being heard, you can try checking your microphone to make sure that your microphone is actually the one that you want to be using. And then the same thing is true with your speakers. If you're having trouble hearing, you can make sure that your speakers are set to whichever speaker it is that you mean it to be set to. Then you can even check yourself. Um, if you want to be push to talk, you can put it on push to talk. So you have to push a certain button in order to make sure that before you're heard, um, or you can just have it on so that they, we hear you all the time. So that's a little bit, that's the most common problem that we have is that people have trouble being heard or hearing us. Then I'm just going to go back. I'm going to escape out of here and uh, I'll join a chat here. So Mr. Leach is in here. Notice that when I join this chat, I now can see a video where I have a um, camera option and I have a screen option. So I can actually share my screen with the people in my voice chat. And I can also turn on if you have a webcam or if your um, laptop has a camera, you can turn on that camera so that um, you can actually have a, a, a video chat with someone. So both of those are handy things that you can use as well. And then Mr. Leach is in there that we could sit and chat about questions about the homework. So there's pretty much the entire setup. The important things are these uh, the DM area, the, the server itself, and then if you're having um, any technical issues, try first by going to the user settings. Let me show you a couple of cool tricks of the trade just since we're in here. Uh, let's say that Mr. Leach is really loud and I want to turn him down, or maybe I can't hear his volume even though I'm hearing everybody else's. What you can do is take that person that you're, that you're having trouble with and right click them and you can see their user volume. I can turn him up or down so that I can hear him better or maybe hear him less. Or maybe he's got a screaming baby in the background that I don't want to listen to. I can mute him if I need to. So all those things are true within this, just right click on that person. Um, some other cool tricks of the trade. Once I start typing into the into a um, discussion, and say I want to say um, I love stats. If I decide later that I want to delete it, over here there are three little symbols there. I say, oops, I forgot my period on the end, so I'm going to edit it. Or I want to leave a emoji. Um, and I can do this on my own comments, but I can also do it on other people's comments. So, you know, I want to say truth to that. So I can leave different emojis on there as well. And then um, if I need to, I can also do things like delete the message. Ooh, I didn't really want to say that after all. So let's just delete it. So there's a couple of little tricks in, of the trade um, for turning down people or um, muting them and then being able to uh, chat with them and use the different emojis. So hopefully we can get you in and started with Discord and it'll be a great communication device throughout the semester. Math made simple, it's some math. Thanks for watching.